Jiu. Okay, wo waren wir? In welcher Timeline waren wir? Da waren wir. Okay. Naja, hier können wir weitermachen. Wenn wir hier nicht mehr weiterkommen, können wir hier weitermachen. Okay. Hier müssen wir, hier müssen wir Ella nehmen, ne? Ich, ich glaube ja. Ich hoffe, ich habe jetzt nicht das Falsche genommen. Kurz gucken, Moment. Ja, gut. <clears throat> For several long moments, we just stared at one another. Words weren't necessary. Everything she would have tried to tell me, I could already see in her eyes. Also ja, äh, hier in der Timeline hat Sigma nur noch einen Punkt und wir, wir sind gegen Dio und äh, Dio betrayed jetzt wahrscheinlich und wir sterben wahrscheinlich. Ah. Außer Dio hat Ally genommen, was ich, was ich nicht glaube. I turn and head toward the results screen. Genau. Hätten wir nicht Ally genommen, dann hätten wir das vom letzten Mal heiß. Weil Dio hat ja dieses Accelerier-Zeug, diesen Impfstoff gegen dieses Radical Six. Und wenn wir nicht Ally genommen hätten, dann hätte, hätte der das kaputt gemacht, hätte das zerstört. Und Quark wäre wär, wär hilflos und so weiter. Sigma. Eh. I heard her behind me, her voice barely louder than a whisper. The choice was already made, I stood up straight and kept walking. Ja, 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 Sigma. Sigma verreckt. Minus ein Punkt. Results from round, please. Ja. Hier ist was aufgefallen. Ui, was dann? What? Sigma's BP is... Negative. <gasps> Suddenly all eyes were on me. I felt their weight, but stood my ground. It was the result I had expected. I took a deep breath and closed my eyes. I didn't have to wait long. There was a sharp, quick pain in my wrist, barely even noticeable. I couldn't feel anything flowing into my veins, but I knew it was there. Alle anderen Roboter sind, die programmiert wurden, dass ich nicht gehen darf. Hmm. First would be the anesthetic soporer. I blinked and my vision started to blur. When I tried to think, it felt like my mind had been stuffed with cotton. My legs began to wobble, uh, then gave out entirely as I crumpled to the floor. Sigma! <clears throat> Geht gar nicht, die haben rotes Blut. Hm. Ja, aber heißt denn nicht, dass Roboter heißt denn nicht, dass Roboter auch äh, nicht nicht rotes Blut haben können? Oder wurde es irgendwann mal bestätigt? Weiß jetzt gar nicht. Kann natürlich sein, dass das irgendwo mal gesagt wurde. Ich glaube, das Einzige, was mir, was, was dementsprechend war, war, als Luna, glaube ich mal, unser dieses weiße Zeug in unserer Hand gesehen hat und dann gemeint hat, ja, vielleicht bin ich ja ein Roboter und so. Hm. Wer weiß. Sigma, hang on! Hey! Sigma! Hm. Get up! Sigma! Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no! 
Trying to open my eyelids was like trying to lift sheets of lead. My eyes had lost the ability to focus, but I could, could make out a blur that had to be Dio in front of the number 9 door. Damn it, you'll keep your promise. God damn it! I groaned and with a Herculean effort lifted my head and then my sluggish body off the floor. Every step was a battle and whenever I shifted my weight my muscles threatened to give out again. But somehow I forced myself ahead, a single thought burning in my mind. I would reach Dio. Then at last. The smudge of color faded into a recognizable person. I threw out my hand in front of him. Give. Give it back. Give me the medicine. Give it back? Don't act like it's yours. Aren't we supposed to share everything we find here? I don't care. Just hand me the medicine. What are you talking about? We found the Accelerator in the laboratory. And Dio stole it. Wh what? You, you mean he has it? Right now? Yeah. Yeah. So? I kept my promise. Now you. I wasn't a fool. I knew the kind of person Dio was. There was a chance he wouldn't give us back the Excelvia. If he didn't, then I'd die with my hands around his throat. I gathered as much of my mind as I could and got ready to attack. <laughs> Fine. Not quite, not quite what I'd been expecting. Here. With a shrug, he pulled the vial out of his pocket and tossed it toward me. I caught it and pulled the tiny glass bottle to my chest, worried I might drop it. The label said, unmistakably, Excelivir. It was the real thing. Excelivir hört sich fast an wie ein Zauberspruch aus Harry Potter oder so. Chloe, take it. I held it out toward her. Right, of course. She quickly tucked it into her pocket. Welche Tasche? Good. Now at least Quark will be alright. With that, the last of my strength left me, and I dropped to my knees. <gasps> Sigma! Are you okay? Sigma! Sigma! Sigma. I guess this is it. First is the sofa reel. Wait to put you to sleep. <sighs> Nine minutes later, the two volcano arena is injected, numbing your respiratory muscles. I guess you could say it'll really take your breath away. Nine minutes. <clears throat> Once the Zoporel was injected, I had nine minutes until the muscle relaxant followed it. But four minutes had already passed, which left me with five, give or take a little. In five minutes, I would be dead. What could I do in five minutes? How could I save myself? <laughs> I gave a raspy, quiet laugh. Even with death, death staring me in the face, I seemed to be determined to struggle right up until the very end. Okay, Sigma, you can do this. Clinging desperately to what little consciousness I had left, I wrecked my brain brain for any possible solutions. How could I save myself? How? There had to be something. Every problem, no matter how difficult, has a solution. There's always another option. Hopelessness is a state of mind. I just had to think. Think, think, think. If there was a way out, I'd find it. I wasn't ready to give up on life yet. There had to be an answer. To be continued? Natürlich. Natürlich! <lacht> Lock number three. Okay, dann machen wir halt hier weiter. Okay, uh, das Betray ist länger. Dann machen wir zuerst Ally hier. Isn't enough antiviral medication. Okay. Hmm. 
All right, please. Hemoglobulin. Immunoglobulin. Do you know what immunoglobulin is? It's another name for antibodies. Some people have antibodies that can fight off Radical Six. IG Replicator. Replicator makes it sound like it makes copies of stuff. So it's like a copy machine. Yeah, probably copies. IG, whatever that is. <gasps> Maybe it's not IG. Is any Who ideas? Knows? Ice cream by the gallon. Nine clover. Nine. That's it. I've got it. The IG replicator in the laboratory. It's an immu immunoglobulin. Yeah. Uh, replication machine. Uh, what? It can copy immunoglobulin antibodies. Luna just said Excelivir is made from antibodies. That means we can make more Excelivir. Hold on a moment. There is a strange device in the laboratory that says IG Replicator on it. Clover and I examined it thoroughly when we were in that room. Yeah. We never could figure out what it did, though. Exactly. Hmm. My question is, how do you know about it, Sigma? Tja, I saw it when it was in the laboratory. When was that? Um... Probably when you were looking for Alice, right? Uh, right. No, the was wrong. I hadn't gone to the laboratory when I was looking for Alice. I didn't think I'd ever been to the laboratory. So how did I know about the IG replicator? If what he's saying is true, then we should be able to duplicate the Excelivir. That would mean we could cure Alice and Quark. Yeah. Mm. Let's go have a look then. The laboratory, right? Yeah, no time to waste. We all nodded. Wait, we can't leave them here all alone. Luna, do you think you could stay behind and look after them? Oh, of course. I'd be happy to. Alright then, let's go. Yeah. Warum ist ihm das eigentlich in der anderen? Dings nicht eingefallen. In der anderen Timeline. Die wir gerade eben gespielt haben. Ja, okay, weil es da, da gab es gab's keinen wirklichen Grund, das Excelavir zu kopieren. Aber eigentlich schon, weil wenn wir es Quark gegeben hätten, dann wäre überhaupt nichts mehr da. Wenn dann irgendwann später noch irgendwer mit dem Radical Six infiziert worden wäre, dann hätte man überhaupt nichts. Hm. Sigma ist anscheinend keiner, der ein bisschen vorausdenkt. So this is the lab, huh? Nur jemand, der sich an Sachen erinnert aus anderen Timelines. Yes. Where's this IG Replicator thing? Right here. So this can copy the Excelivir? Uh, I think so. What are we waiting for? Calm down, all right. Don't rush me. Carefully lower the small vial of Excelivir into the slot on the side of the machine. Oh. An empty vial already protruded from the other side. Presumably, presumably, that was where the duplicated Excelivir would go. Ready? When I push this button, it should... Skip it. Just press the damn thing. Right. Uh, press! Ta-da! Uh, did it work? Have a look. The empty vial has something in it now. And the vial Sigma yeah. used remains as it was. It does not seem to have lost any of its contents. So, it worked? Would have been pretty bad if it hadn't. Alright, let's get this thing back to the infirmary. Uh, noch eine Sicherheitskopie, eventuell für den Fall der Fälle. Sigma. I reached down and pulled both wires from the machine, intending to slip them de deftly into my pocket. 
Ah, oh, shit. What happened? Sorry, my hand slipped. You dropped one of them? Yeah, I'm stuffed, Sigma. D yeah, just one though. What the hell? What if you'd broken it, you idiot? Come on. If it broken, then we could have just made another copy. Before Tenmyoji could reply, Fai spoke. Uh, guys? Huh? I was surprised to hear her voice coming from near my feet. But I looked down to see her staring intently at something beneath the table. <sighs> Not a bomber. You see? It did break! No, the vial's fine. See? She held it up in one hand, but didn't move her eyes. Then what the heck is going on down there? Take a look. Bomber? She slid back from the table quickly and silently. The rest of us bent down to look. Ah, Bomber! That gets cutting laser. Hmm. This is when it's really cuck. A bomb? Whoa. Really? That makes two then. Guess Kay was right after all. So there were more bombs. So it would seem. Was this here when you guys came through the first time? No, it was not. Yeah, I didn't see anything, and I looked real hard. And punish. Uh, uh, we. Einstellungen oder so. Ich frage mich gerade, ob ich eventuell die Geschwindigkeit von dem Text einstellen kann. Sieht fast nicht so aus. Then somebody must have said it while we were looking for Alice. Who the hell would do that? We were all out looking for Alice. It could have been any of us. No, not any of us. I was back in the infirmary. Quark was still out, so I was keeping an eye on him. So we shouldn't consider you a suspect, is that right? Yeah. Quark's off the list, too. But Tenmyoji, you have no proof that you spent the entire time in the infirmary, do you? Mm -hmm. What? You could have quietly made your way to the laboratory, planted the bomb... That's insane! Listen to yourself! There's no way in hell I'd have left Quark all by himself to go plant a goddamn bomb! Tenmyoji was still staring furiously at Kay when Clover spoke up. Hey, what's this thing? Huh? I turned in time to see her grab something from under the table. It looks like a... memory card. Okay. Where was it? Um, right under the bomb. It was down on the floor under the table. Could it have been put here by the same person who set the bomb? There was nothing like it here when we examined this room. You think they dropped the deck set accidentally? Unless it was left here intentionally, yes. I imagine so. Hmm. What do you think's on it? Let's take a look. Could I see it for a minute? Yeah, I guess. I guess so. I plucked the card out of her hand and looked around the room. Nothing. Nirgendwo wo man eine memory card ein reinstecken kann. Shoot! No dice. We'll need to plug it into something that can read memory cards, but I don't see anything here. So what do we do? Come on, if I knew uh, I'd be doing it. Erinner dich, Sigma. Irgendwo kommt man doch bestimmt irgendwann mal. Until Ambidex game polling closes. All play if no... Uh, guys, I think maybe we should get back to the top floor. Yeah, you're right. We've got what we came here for. Um... What should we do about the, uh, bomb? Not much we can do except leave it here. Alice said it'd be dangerous to touch them. True, but... Drop it. We can talk about the bombs later. Right now we need to take care of Alice and Quark. Right. So we go back to the infirmary, give them the accelerator, then head to the floor A warehouse? Right. This ought to do it. It might take a little while. But they should recover. Yay! It was was quiet as she backed away from Alice and Quark. In her hand was the injection gun. 
She carefully removed the empty vial and placed it gently in the cabinet with the other one. While we were in the laboratory, Luna had moved Quark to a crude cot. They both looked peaceful as they slept. The madness I'd seen on their faces before was completely gone. Are they really going to be alright? Yes. The analysis I did on the files confirmed that the duplicate was real Excelivir. The original was genuine too, of course. Nice. Now that they've been treated... It's only a matter of time before the virus is eliminated. I believe so, yes. Oh man, what a relief. I was really worried. <clears throat> Clover grinned. Agreed. I gave a reassuring pat on the back. Five minutes. Five minutes. No. All right, everybody. We can be relieved later. Right now, we need nope. to get to the AB rooms and fast. Damn. Jetzt haben sie kein Mittel mehr, wenn noch jemand krank wird. Ma, ma, hab, hab ich gesagt. Macht lieber noch eine Sicherheitskopie, dass falls noch was ist, dann. Don't even have time to catch our breath. Come on, let's go. The floor A warehouse is waiting. Also ich, ich nehme an, die gehen davon aus, dass wenn jetzt in, wenn jetzt noch keine irgendwie Anzeichen gezeigt hat, dass, dass, dass dann alle anderen nicht infiziert sind. Ha, where's then Miyoji? Ah, he stayed back in the infirmary. What? Why? Well, when we were all heading out, I noticed he wasn't doing anything. So I asked him if he was coming with us. And this is what I got. <sighs> I'm still worried about Quark and Alice. What I get kind of gun. I think I'll stick around and make sure they're okay. I see. That means that Fi's only opponent will be Dio. One on one, huh? Ugh. That's cool. Nothing to worry about. I plan to choose ally. <laughs> yeah, not truly. You know why? Because I've only got one BP. Exactly. If you chose ally, Bullshit. You, your BP would drop below zero and... Well, we know what happens then. I want to win, but I'm not that desperate. Yeah! yeah you see yeah, what I'm saying, right? Deal. Ten Miyoji and Dio are a pair. Ten Miyoji only had one BP left. Since Dio said he's going to pick an ally. Ah oh, fuck, Fi is it's richtig in der Scheiße. Fi can't really pick anything else. If she does, then Miyoji will. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Kay and I are going to be going one on one too, right? Since Quark's still sleeping. That is correct. How many BP BP do you guys have? I've got six. As do I. Ooh, when one of them betrayed, then. This will be a tough one then. If one of them can get the other to ally and then betray that person, the betrayer will have nine points. Mm. Look, Kay, I know you don't really have any reason to trust me, but... I know. You would like us both to vote ally, yes? I yeah. I agree. If we were to both betray, then we would gain no points. We would lose nothing either, but that's hardly relevant. If both of us cooperate, then we will both gain two points, which is much more beneficial. Right. Okay, good. You're really gonna do it, right? Yes. Promise? Promise. Hmm. One minute. Re Shit, this is bad. We need to move, now. Indeed. Shall we? Okay, fine. Clover all took off immediately, heading into different AB rooms. Cunning from the left, Dio went into room 3K. Okay, scheiße, klar. That left Luna and myself. What do you think about taking the one on the far left? Sounds good. With that settled, we headed into AB room number one. Alle Lügen. Alle Lügen. Start. Thirty seconds. 
Um, it's probably a little late to say this, but you know Alice is still in the infirmary, so... <laughs> You're saying we should pick Ally, right? Since Alice is going to default to that anyway. Yes. I know. It's not really fair to betray somebody who isn't voting. Bruno's face broke into a warm, happy smile. Not to be sappy, but it was like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. I grinned back at it before I knew what I was doing. For a minute, the nonary game didn't seem so scary. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, ja, hier ist doch eigentlich scheißegal. Two, one. Ob, ob Sigma jetzt in der letzten Sekunde abstimmt oder nicht. Weil Alice stimmt doch sowieso nicht ab. Ella war das mit dem Ja. Ja, ja. Und I stepped out of the AB room. Right, let's go have a look at the results. Okay. Results from Rob, please stop. Okay. So, mal gucken, was die Leute genommen haben. Betray, betray. Ooh. Ooh. What? 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 Alice, ernsthaft? What? Points have been assigned. Or, please check your. <lacht> Was? Aber die war doch. Die war doch ausgenockt. Ernsthaft, Alice? What? It wasn't possible. I blinked, dropped my eyes and looked again. No. That's. That's not possible. How can Alice vote be. Vote be betray? It was a question I would never know the answer to. There was a sharp, quick pain in my wrist, barely even noticeable. I couldn't feel anything flowing into my... I couldn't feel anything flowing into my veins, but I knew it was there. First would be the anesthetic subrill. I blinked and my vision started to blur. When I tried to think... The uh, cotton... Sigma! Sigma! Hang on! Oh no! Sigma! 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 No! Sigma! Hi. My eyelids felt like they were made of lead, but I forced them open. Everything was growing blurry, but I noticed that the door, door of the second AB room was open. No one had gone into that room, I watched them all, and yet there she stood. An apparition that couldn't possibly be real. Ernsthaft, Alice! All ice. The world was gradually going black and my mouth refused to form words, but my head echoed with questions. How? Why? What was she doing there? Had she run in at the last moment after Luna and I entered our room? But even if she had, why choose betray? Then the darkness closed over my mind as well, and my questions were gone forever. Guys. Ah, spooky. Game over. Ja, scheiße, ne? Toll gemacht, Alice. Dann, dann halt Betray. Selbst das wird nicht anständig übersprungen. <lacht> Und I stepped out of the AB room. Why? What happened to It's not fair to betray someone who isn't voting. I thought because I know something you don't know. There was nothing I could think of to say. Even I didn't really understand why I picked Betray instead. Yet it almost felt unconscious. Like some other part of my mind was making the decision. Do 
Perhaps I'd been possessed by some sort of evil spirit that had moved my finger to the betray button against my will. Ooh, ich bin böser Geist. Right, well, we should go see the results. We already know what they are. It's just simple math. Nope. The look in her eyes was more painful than any punch I'd ever taken. Da die zweite Tür ist wieder offen. Alice hat wieder abgestimmt. I turned away and almost ran toward the projector. Anything to get away from those eyes. Results, please. Boom, 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 boom. Betray, betray. Betray, betray. 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 <lacht> Niemand kriegt Punkte. Du kriegst keinen Punkt. Du kriegst keinen Punkt. Und ihr bekommt keine Punkte. Du kriegst auch keine Points Punkte. Niemand kriegt check. Punkte. Wunderbar. What? It was impossible. I blinked. No. How can Alice vote be betrayed? <laughs> That's not possible. <gasps> Alice! She was standing inside the second room from the left. The room that should have been empty. Why? My mind was still reeling. Where had she come from? As I was trying to form a sentence, she began to move toward us. From around me, I heard a chorus of muted gasps. It seemed we were united in our surprise and confusion. Alice drew to a stop in front of me and glanced up at the display. Thought you'd get an easy couple points, huh? Not so easy when you have to look your victim in the eye, is it, coward? Sagt die, die mich gerade eben noch umgebracht hat. Me, a coward? You've got some balls saying that to me after you picked betray. Why are you even here? You gave me the antivirus, didn't you? Tenmyoji told me. Thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, honestly. Und dann, dann versuchen mich umzubringen. The effects of the anesthetic. Yes, well, I still am, a bit. I have a throbbing headache, and I can barely stand. It's horrible. I'm more resistant to anesthetics than most people. A result of ah. my training. I had uh -huh. a feeling Zero Senior knew that. They gave me way more than the standard dose of that gas when they kidnapped me. In any event, a few minutes ago I woke up in the infirmary. Okay, das, das, wird, das wird sogar erklären, warum Clover ganz am Anfang vom Spiel äh, noch betäubt war oder halt noch ähm, bewusstlos war, weil die wurde ja zusammen mit Alice entführt. Und wenn die, wenn Clover dann noch mal eine extra Ladung Betäubungsmittel bekommen hat oder halt mehr Betäubungsmittel als als eigentlich nötig gewesen wäre, macht Sinn, dass die am Anfang noch noch bewusstlos war. Tenmyoji explained what was going on and I got here as fast as I could. So you showed up right after we'd gone into the AB room? Yes. Right in the nick of time, too. About 10 seconds before the deadline, as I recall. You did that just so you could betray us? Right. What? Don't I get to do that? Nein, ich hab nur, ich hab nur einen Punkt, I mean, Punkt, it turned Alter. out to be the right thing to do, didn't it? You two chose Betray. If I'd stayed back there, I'd have lost two points. So you're saying it was self-defense? Yes. You're full of shit. Self-defense, my ass. You chose Betray because you wanted out. You had six BP. If I'd picked Ella, you would have nine. Uh, nine. That's what you were trying to do, right? So what if I was? Are you serious? You would have killed me. Look, I only have one BP. Were this close to murdering me. Okay, das wusste er, das glaube ich nicht. Ich weiß, ich weiß es nicht mehr, seit wann, seit wann die in der Timeline bewusstlos ist. <coughs> Just admit it. You were planning to kill me so you could escape. Don't be stupid. I knew you'd choose betray. There was... Tell the truth. That is the truth. You can't handle the truth. Why am I the only one getting the third degree here? Look at those results. Two other people just tried to kill someone. That's also true. 
fire and you. Ja, okay. Bei Fire kann ich verstehen, dass sie Betray nimmt, weil. Die. Dio. Dio nimmt. Hat Dio eigentlich schon überhaupt irgendwann mal. Ally genommen? Ja, okay. Das. Ja. Ganz am Anfang. Und sie hat nicht 5 Punkte. Ah, trotzdem. Yes. If Dio had chosen Ally, Fire would have killed 10 Miyoji. And if she'd chosen Ally, Dio would have killed her. I don't want to be rude, but it looks like Clover and Kay tried to trick one another. Not that it seems to have worked. Ja. If either one had chosen Ally, the other one would have 9 BP right now. I tried to look at this research again. If I had only been looking at my own. I hadn't realized that there was only one word all across the roster. Betray. Whatever trust we'd managed to build had fallen apart. Everyone was suspicious of everyone else. Had it been the bombs? Or had it been something else? Whatever reason, if it kept up, we'd never manage to escape. We'd be trapped in a cycle of zero point rounds for the rest of our lives. Something had to be done. I closed my eyes and took a deep breath. Alright guys, pay attention. You probably already all kind of figured you probably already all figured this out, but we can't keep going like this. If we don't start being a little more trusting, we're never gonna get out of here. We need to work together. I might as well have been talking to a wall. My apologies, Sigma. But I need to think on something for a bit. I would appreciate being left alone. Okay. I'll be leaving too. Things are getting a little too intense here for my delicate constitution. Sorry. Bullshit deal. Deal. Well, in that case. It too fi. It too. Yeah, sorry. Uh, without another word, she turned and left the warehouse. The and K quickly followed suit. See? There's your answer. In the end, everyone's just thinking about themselves. So I would appreciate it if you could not treat me like I'm the only villain here. Come on, Clover. Let's go. Hold on! I'm coming! Good Are you so feeling okay? Seid I'm halt really alle worried, you know? Seid halt alle scheiße und verrecken hier, weil... Keiner Ally nehmen will. I watched them walk away, Clover practically jumping with delight to have Alice back. Before long, they reached the yellow door and it disappeared beyond it. <coughs> Hello, Luna. Everyone's gone. Scheiße, ne? You aren't going to leave too? No. Are you sure I chose betray? I know, but I still believe in you, Sigma. I think your hand must have just slipped or something. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Bestimmt, yeah. Genau. I just heard and when I blinked I felt something hot and wet prick the corners of my eyes. Luna, I... I bit my lip. Before I could think of anything to say, the metallic rumble of the doors closing echoed through the warehouse. Boom. Ding ding. The yeah. Star key. There is the yeah, so many times as we want, huh? Yes, as long as we have the star keys. That means we can keep playing the AB game over and over too. Um, Sigma, could you show me your bracelet? Do you remember Why? what Zero Junior said? Ja, Farben und so weiter ändern sich. Yeah, I remember. Ah, uh, let's see here. I'm a cyan pair. What about you? I'm a magenta pair. No, oh, nicht mit Luna in der nächsten Runde, schade. Und what the others are? Anything, I suppose. We won't know until we have a look. Hmm. We've got about 80 minutes until the next set of chromatic doors open. So what should Everyone we do now? Everyone else has gone off on their own. Yeah, physically and emotionally. I really don't like how this is going. It won't matter how many times we repeat the AB game if nobody trusts anybody else. 
We'll never be able to get out of here. Maybe it would help if we all had a common goal. Something to unite our hearts and minds. <laughs> yeah, but we've already got something like that. We all want to get out of here. That seems like a pretty clear goal to me, but everybody chose betray. Including me. Well, what if we have an enemy? <gasps> an enemy? Yes, a common foe. Like the person who set the bombs, for instance. After coming back from the lab, I told her about the bomb while she gave Alice and Quark the Accelerator. <clears throat> yeah, that might work. If we can figure out which one of us planted those bombs, then everyone else would work together against right. them. But how do we figure out who it is? Do you have any clues? Ah, uh, hmm, clues, huh? <gasps> That's right, the memory card! I pulled it out of my pocket and held it out to water. What's this? I told you, memory card. It was under the bomb we found in the lab. I think whoever sent the bomb dropped really? it. Really? Yeah, I don't know what's on it though. We couldn't find any kind of memory card, Rita. Oh, I guess we can't really use it then. <clears throat> oh, wait a second. You hmm. know what? I think I might have seen something. Huh? Yes, I remember. The infirmary. I saw it when I was searching the infirmary with Dio and Quark. There was a memory card just like that one. Then. Yes, I think we can see what's on it. The computer there should be able to read it. No, oh, manchmal ist manchmal, wenn Luna redet, ist unter ihrer Lippe irgendwie bisschen Grafikfehler. When I exploded into the infirmary, I nearly running into Alice, Clover, and Tenmyochi. Quark was there as well, of course, but he was just as we'd left him, asleep on the bed. What are you doing here? I opened my mouth to retort, then thought better of it. If I really wanted people to start trusting each other, well, real change starts at home. As quickly as I could, I explained the second bomb and the memory card and how we'd come to the infirmary in hopes that we could discover the contents of that letter. Okay. Then stick it in already! Ooh. Go ahead. Right. Just as Luna had said, there was a small slot under a screen, exactly the right size to fit a memory card. At the moment, the screen was filled with what appeared to be random letters. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Six rows, 22 letters each. It looks like the odd rows use one set of letters, and the even rows use another set. In other words, the first two rows just repeat. Yeah. There's just some kind of code or something? It doesn't look random to me. I think there might be a pattern. <clears throat> I just don't know what it is. Was there anything else on there? No, it doesn't look like it. So all we get is this gibberish. Hey Alice, you haven't said anything for a while, what's Does up? Does any of this look familiar to you, Clover? Um, what do you mean? Have you seen something like this before? Maybe during your training? Cesar code. Cesar chiffre. Uh, training? This is... So you do recognize it. Alright, knock it off, you two. How about you share it with the rest of the class? As I didn't stretch her neck from side to side. I believe this is an encoded message from a terrorist organization. Oh, okay. What? They call themselves the Myrmidons. Okay. Myrmidons. For some reason I felt like I'd heard that name before. Ja, haben wir. Nämlich... Da! What are the Myrmidons? Put simply, they're a bunch of thugs who are trying to destroy or dismantle most of human civilization. So this thing we're looking at, you think it's theirs? Well, they have a number of different codes, but I do think this is one of them. Then the bomb? It was set by one of the Myrmidons, wasn't it? Yes, 
Well, I can't say for sure, of course, but it seems likely. Ah, damn, I've got a ton of questions for you. But let me start with this one. What the heck does the thing say? I don't know. How am I supposed to what? decode it? I don't have the key. Without a key, it would take literally hundreds of years to decode. What about you, Clover? Well, if Alice doesn't know how, I sure don't. Uh, <laughs> see. Hmm. Hmm. Not much we can do then. We can come back to the code stuff later. I've got another question. Alice, Clover, who the hell are you? What do you know about this code? That's... You told me your job was to eliminate enemies of the state or something like that. Just what the hell kind of job is that? I think it's time you told us what you do. Sorry, but I can't. But why not? Because you might be one of them. You might be the person who set the bomb. <gasps> that, that's idiotic. Of course I'm really? not. And where's your proof? For all I know, you're my enemy. I can't tell you anything. Wäre ich der Böse, hätte ich euch vier, ne? dann die Memory Card gezeigt, beziehungsweise den Code auf der Memory Card. I'm not your enemy. I'm your ally. I'm your friend. I just want all of us to get out of here. Just please tell us. Please. We need to find out who did this so we can all escape. But we have too little information. We need your help. Fine. If you won't tell us about yourself, then just tell us about the Myrmidons. What else do you know about them? I'm sorry. Stimmt auch wieder. Before I could blink, she leapt up and run out of the room, but. Sehr erwachsen. Ja, das ist es. Hey, wait, Alice! I took up after her. How long are you going to keep following me? Until you tell me what you know. Then why don't you just ask Clover? Clover? You already know she works with me. Well, then yeah. Why don't you. I wanted to hear it from you. Why? That's a good question. Remember the crew quarters? Or oh, this garden? Got paired up for two separate rounds. That means I've spent more time with you than anybody else here. Maybe that's it. I guess I'm just curious about you. What are you talking about? Ooh. She spun around to hide it, but I caught a blush of red on her cheeks. We walked down the path to where it ended next to the pond. Mm mm mm. <coughs> I stayed silent. Ella sat down on the bench. We gazed at the smooth surface of the pond for several long minutes before she began to speak. You don't hate me? Ooh, is this Alice? Alice Ende? Nee, dafür ist noch viel zu... viel zu lang hin. What? Why? I tried to kill you. You mean in the AB game? Yes. I was so scared. Who wouldn't be? Kidnapped and locked up, forced to play some sort of bizarre game. And then we found that bomb. <coughs> I know I probably sounded calm, but as soon as we found that thing, all I wanted to do was run away from it as fast as I could. Things just went downhill from there. What do you mean? I remember hearing that Quark had collapsed and running to the infirmary with everyone else. When I got there, I realized I couldn't understand what anyone was saying. And everything looked... I don't know how to describe it. It was like watching a video on Fast Forward, only it was real. Then I started to feel like... It's hard to explain. I guess you could say I didn't feel like I was myself, and it only got worse. That was probably the radical sex. Yes, I think so. I don't <laughs> remember much after that. But when I woke up in the infirmary, suddenly all that fear was back. So I... All I could think about was getting out of this place as fast as I could. It never even crossed my mind that it could kill you. God help me, even if it had, I don't think I would have cared. See? 
I'm horrible. You hate me, don't you? Just do it. What? What? Kill me! Get it over with! What the hell is? I'm not going to kill you. I don't even hate you. You're lying. I could have killed you. I would have killed you. Come on, calm down. No one's killing anyone. Doch, der Myrmidon. Der bringt alle um mit seinen Bomben. A single tear rolled down, and his cheek. Then another and another, leaving shining lines across her face. When I reached out, I saw her tense just slightly. Slowly, I brushed my thumb across her cheek and off, talk, taking her tears with it. Why are you doing mm. this? You know, you kind of remind me of my father. <clears throat> oh, that's who you were after, right? The people who killed your dad? Yes. Did they have anything to do with the Myrmidons? Will you promise not to tell Clover that I cried? Ah, come on. If you keep your mouth shut, I'll tell you what you want to know. About myself, and about the Myrmidons. Deal? Sure. My lips are sealed. Really? But crying? I don't remember any crying. Good. All right then. I just took a deep breath and began. My father is Egyptian, but my mother is French. We. Oui. They met while my mother was in Egypt on vacation and married shortly thereafter. When I was three, we all moved to the U.S. Okay. My father was a scientist and his field was cloning. He was recruited by an American lab, which was why he moved. Uh, we moved. Both of my parents had used English around me from the time I was born, so I didn't have any problems adapting to life in the United States. By my ninth birth birthday, we'd been there for six years. That was when it happened. In the middle of the day, my mother showed up at school. Oh, is this Junge? Junge? No, this is. This is Mama. Her eyes were red and puffy, but she didn't say anything to me on the drive home. When we arrived, there were several policemen there to meet us. My father had always been a very punctual man. And when dinner time came and went with no sign of him, even I began to realize something terrible had happened. It wasn't until several years later that I finally learned the truth. My father's lab had been attacked by terrorists and he had been kidnapped. Also es ist jetzt doch alles Ende. Aber da kommt noch, kommt noch so viel. Okay. For the rest of my childhood, my mother raised me by herself. I didn't realize it then, but it must have been incredibly difficult for her as a single mother alone in a country where any relatives were, were transatlantic flight away. She did her best not to let me see it, but every so often when she thought she was alone, the mask would fall away. And in every line of her face I could see exhaustion and loneliness. As much as I missed my father, it was those moments that made me wish more than anything that he'd never been taken. Fortunately, I was an excellent student and did especially well in math. I earned a full ride scholarship straight out of high school and spent the next several years studying. After graduation, I took a job with the Department of Defense, hoping that they might have the resources to help me look for my father. I was immediately assigned to the Special Office of Internal Security. Their purpose is to investigate and sometimes deal with terrorist organizations and other serious threats to the state. I could tell my mother wasn't happy about my decision, but she chose to remain silent about it. Eventually I learned that the terrorist organization that had taken my father was none other than the Myrmidons, although at the time that name didn't mean anything to me. They were suspected of human cloning. Specifically, it was thought that they had been using cloning techniques to copy their most useful members and expand their ranks. The Myrmidons apparently believed that they 
could use cloning to create a new race of humans. Now at last, uh, I knew the reason for my father's abduction. The commander of the Myrmidons is a man named Left. We know his name and his gender, but not his appearance or his age. The Myrmidons are closely associated with a cult known as Free the Soul. We believe that Free the Soul provides their funding. By trying to pin any kind of misdeeds on the cult's leader, a man named Brother is like trying to nail Jello to a wall. Brother is supposed to be to be fairly advanced in years, and rumors say he's so old he can't even get out of bed. Unfortunately, his mind seems to be as sharp as ever. <clears throat> At that point, I hit a wall. I knew the Myrmidons had been behind my father's kidnapping, but that was all I could learn about them. Then one day I got a tip that some of them were hiding in a building in the Nevada desert. I headed out immediately. On the way there, my car had some engine trouble and stalled out. I was trying to decide what to do when an SUV appeared out of nowhere. <clears throat> I'll give you one guess who was behind the steering wheel. Clover. That was the first time we met. There were four other people in the car with her. And when I asked them what they were doing, I got what was just about the last answer I'd expected. They told me they'd been locked up inside of the very building I'd been on my way to investigate, and that they were currently in pursuit of the people who had kidnapped them in the first place. My priorities shifted very quickly. After a short discussion, I convinced them to allow me to come along. My hope was to find the people they were chasing, who I was certain were Myrmidons. In the end, however, we were unable to track them down. In fact, I still don't know where they might have gone. Eventually, I took Clover and her companions to SOIS headquarters. We decided that involving the police would only complicate things. After some questioning, it was determined that the people who had instigated this particular event were not connected to the Myrmidons. We did, however, discover that the mysterious disappearance and subsequent reappearance of several children nine years prior was connected to Free the Soul. Echt? Oh, okay. There was also a sixth person in the SUV, although they weren't riding in it, per se. A middle-aged man, who I'll just call H for now, had been bound and placed in the trunk. Also Ace. According to the other four, he had been behind the disappearance of the children nine years earlier. Gentaro Hongo, wenn ich mich richtig erinnere. He also learned that his pharmaceutical company, a major player on the world stage, was effectively controlled by Free the Soul. Ah, oh, okay. More specifically, I suppose H was a member of Free the Soul and very committed to the cause. Uh, so why had he kidnapped all those children? Apparently it had it had been part of an experiment designed to test the ability of certain people to access what's called the morphogenetic field. I don't imagine you've ever heard of it before, so I'll try and give you a quick rundown. Doch haben wir. Nämlich da. Simply put, these people can access a sort of field that allows their consciousness to, re to resonate with the consciousness of certain other people. To be honest, it might be simpler to just call it telepathy. The SOIS had heard of this particular ability before and had actually used it in a number of investigations, so I wasn't surprised to learn of its existence. I was shocked, however, to learn that these experiments had been carried out by a member of Free the Soul. If that was the case, then Brother must have known about it. The thought of him discovering a way to control and harness that power was terrifying. Ja, aber, aber Sigma hätte hätt ja sagen können, ja doch, äh, Clover hat mir mal davon erzählt. 
It wasn't too long after the incident in Nevada that another tip about the Myrmidons crossed my desk. This time it claimed that the Myrmidons intended to launch a large-scale biological terrorist attack. My bosses decided that we needed more agents to deal with a threat of that magnitude, and Clover was recruited. Because she'd been a test subject in H experiment, we knew she had the ability to access the morphogenetic field and we wanted to put that ability to use. After several months of training, she was sent to her first mission. She would be tasked with the infiltration and investigation of a Myrmidon cloning lab. I was assigned to be her commanding officer. I hoped that our investigation might also give me a lead on my father's whereabouts. At last, I had a chance to find out what had happened to him. I wouldn't let that chance pass, by, pass me by. Perhaps that was what kept me from noticing the truth. <coughs> The whole operation was a trap. The lab was fake and Clover was captured almost immediately. But wo haben die gewusst, dass die irgendwann mal infiltriert werden und so weiter? Komische Leute. I got there as fast as I could, but when I arrived, the building was only an empty shell. Of the cons Conspirators who had pretended to be researchers had uh, and the like had already fled. I searched frantically for Clover until at last in the basement room I found her. She had been tied to a chair, but on the floor next to her was another body. Ooh, that Clover, glaube ich nicht. Erzählt. Oh, it was my father. It looked as if he'd just been dumped there, and when I got to him, his body was already cold. He was covered in dark, ugly bruises. It wasn't until later that I learned he had died from ruptured organs and internal bleeding. They had beaten him to death. As soon as Clover had been captured, uh, Myrmidon in a mask had come to visit her. It said that unless she wanted to end up like my father, she would leave them alone and tell her masters at the SOIS to do likewise. In retrospect, they must have known who I was and who my father was. That was why they'd killed him. Perhaps they thought they were sending a message to me, or that once he was gone, I'd lose my re reason to for chasing them. They were very, very wrong. I took Clover with me and left. I tried to console myself with the fact that I had, at least, been able to save her. Some time later, I received a call from the Corona. He told me there was something I needed to see. There in the morgue was my father, cold and pale, on a steel table. I could barely stand to look at him, but the Corona insisted. On his arm were two rows of numbers, com comprised of eights and nines. It took me a moment to recognize my father's handwriting. He had carved them into his own skin. On his chest was another message, but they were letters this time, not numbers. Not many, just enough to make a short sentence. I love you, Alice. No. Oh. I broke down crying right there in the morgue. They were the first tears I'd shed since the operation had started, and there was no stopping them. There would be no forgiveness. Not for the monsters who'd put my father through this. They destroyed my family. I would make them pay, even if I had to die to do it. That night I made a promise to myself. I would avenge my father. It didn't take long to figure out that the numbers he'd written were latitude and longitude. They pointed to a chemical factory that had been disguised as an abandoned building. Further investigation revealed that it was the mother load we'd been looking for, the headquarters of the Myrmidons. I think my father must have known how things would turn out. Knowing he was going to die, he'd written the directions to our enemy's fortress on his own body. He'd sacrificed too much for me to waste this opportunity with re recklessness. This time our operation would succeed. This time I wouldn't let my excitement put Clover or any of my other agents in danger. So we took our time, we gathered information, we did our research and we planned. Finally, we were ready. December 25th, 2028 was going to be the day we finally set foot inside the Myrmidon stronghold. 
But then on the 22nd, only three days before the operation was scheduled to begin, a man in a gas mask appeared. So inhaled that gas, passed down and woke up here in the AB room. Yes. Well, there it is. Everything that's happened with the Myrmidons and me. Oh, so viel, so viel vorlesen, ey. Hals. I left a few of the details out, of course, but you get the idea. Yeah, thanks. Ey, da ist ein Löwe und der ist was Rotes. Mal wieder. She gave me a sad sort of smile and stood up. We should go back. Not yet. Your story explained a lot, but there's still one big question. Which is? Who here is a Myrmidon? One of us planted the bombs, and based off the code we found, it's pretty clear that person is a Myrmidon. Yes. Right? And I agree that we need to figure out who they are. What do are. you propose we do? Well, that's what I wanted to ask you about. Do you have any clues? clues? Hmm. Well, if I could decrypt that code, it might tell us something, but... How can we do that? I told you. We need a key. Without that, it's pointless. What's a key? A key is a key. It allows you to sort of unlock a code. The Myrmidons usually use this huge string of numbers as a key. Wait, a long string of numbers? Could that be? <gasps> Seven eight one five three six one zero nine eight eight three eight zero nine four two four one nine nine zero five five one. What the hell? Macht sich Sigma nicht dadurch eigentlich noch verdächtiger, dass er, dass er äh, Myrmidon ist und die Bomben gepflanzt hat? I was almost as surprised as she was. The numbers had just kind of appeared in my mind and I was saying them before I knew what I was doing. As looked at me incredi incredulously. Incredulously. And I stared back. Where did... wait... Can you say that again? Nah, Sam, blah, 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 you're talking about reducing an integer to a series of prime numbers that you multiply together to get it right. Like, if you are 30, then you get 2 times 3 times 5, exactly. right? Exactly. You probably learned that in junior high, right? <clears throat> so you're saying that blah 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 is a prime, and if you multiply, multiply it by itself 3 times, you'd get... Yes. Woher weiß die das? Ernsthaft? Ich meine, sie hat gesagt, sie war gut in Mathe, aber... Aber... Ernsthaft? Don't tell me you just did it all in your head. I did do all of that in my head. Simple mental arithmetic. What? No, no way! That's impossible! I told you, I'm better at math than most people. <laughs> That's not better at math. Look at you. You just recited a huge string of numbers. That seems pretty astounding, too. Where did you find that number anyway? I... I didn't know what to say. What would I tell her? That I, it just came to me? Can't tell me, huh? Fine. I'm pretty sure that's the key to the code, though. I know the Myrmidons use prime factors for their keys. And there aren't a lot of 25-digit numbers that turn out to be the third power of a prime number. I think there's a very good chance that number you memorized was specifically created by someone. Ah, uh, could you explain that with small words? Well, look at the prime factors of your number. 198,449,351 to the third power. 
I think that's our hint for cracking the code. You still don't get it? Try to remember the code we saw in the infirmary. What did it say on the monitor? Um, I think the first row was... Ernsthaft, das hat er sich auch gemerkt. And the second row? We all... Lit, I think. Then it just repeats. Wow, you've got a pretty impressive memory. We could really use someone like you back at the... Um... Well, keep going. How do we decode that? You use 198,449,351 to point you to the right letters. How do we do that? Well, the first number is one, so take the first letter. The next number is nine, so go nine letters over from the first one. Then eight from that one. Oh. Come. Just keep going until you get something. Make sense? I don't know what she said in my head. The prime number Alice had given me was blah blah blah. So what would we get if we picked out letters like tricks like the first letter would be T come from the top left. Then it move nine to right brick all. Eight more to the right. Eventually we'd get the word. And that word was Fail and the game is over. Okay. Won't be displayed when you input your answer, so it would be wise to solve it now. Eins, neun, acht, vier, vier, neun, drei, fünf, eins. Oh, Ernst. Kann ich wenigstens das in den Code nochmal sehen? gar nicht mehr so viele safe dinge das ist schlecht error Mir nicht raus. Ernsthaft. Ein Buchstabencode brauche ich ja. What? Are you serious? What? Oh, just f I'll figure it out on my. Stalked off. Wait. Went off to follow her, but. Stay where you are. I don't have any use for another brain dead man. Ha!
Moment, ich hab's gleich. Okay, also. Müsstest, müsstest du per müsstest du per, per Mail noch bestätigen, dass ich das editieren darf, aber na, ich, ich mach's jetzt, ich mach's, ich mach's hier, aber trotzdem vielen, vielen Dank, vielen, vielen Dank. für die Mühe und so. Dankeschön. Äh, und wo waren wir? Kommen. Um, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. P. 1, 2, 3, 4. Achso, ich habe gedacht, komm, Computer oder sowas. Kompel. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Komplett. Äh, wow. Komplett. Komplett. Ja, also das wäre wär schon, wär schon nicht schlecht gewesen, wenn sie wenigstens den Code angezeigt hätten, noch irgendwie. Oder wenn in den Files hier im Archiv irgendwie gewesen wäre. I did it! Completed! That's it! That's the answer! Are you sure? Yeah! I did exactly what it told me to do and the word I got is completed. Well, actually it's completed, completed, completed. The code and the letters repeat every two lines. Hmm. Well, I can't remember the code like you can, but if you're certain, I believe you. Yeah. Ja, ich hab, ich hab gedacht, äh, da würden dann einfach halt nur diese da würden halt die Zahlen dann weg sein. Aber halt der Code an sich wäre noch da. Naja, egal. I'm definitely All certain. Right I wonder what completed is supposed to mean now. What? Aside from the obvious you mean? Uh, I'm guessing here it means the mission complete. So that's what the transmitter was for. Huh? What are you talking about? What transmitter? Ah. Uh. I barely even heard her. Suddenly my mind was full of memories that hadn't been there a moment before. It was like a wave had washed away the sand, revealing a bed of precious gems underneath. Oh, ah. oh Frau. Oh, Eclipse. Oh, oh red, red moon. Oh, oh. <gasps> Dad, why hadn't I realized it before? I could remember a series of numbers, but not this. At least I remember it now. Dio was a member of the Myrmidons. And not just any member, he was their leader. That meant he had to be the one who planted the bombs. Hey, are you listening to me? Yeah. Then answer my question. What the hell uh. was that? What's this about a transmitter? I didn't trust myself to try and explain it to her. More than likely she'd just think I was insane. 
Even I could barely make sense of the sudden influx of new information. Wait. Don't tell me you're one of the Myrmidons. <laughs> if I was, do you really think I'd reveal myself like this? Point. Out of nowhere, Clover appeared. No! Ah! Oh, there you are. Hello. I've been looking all over for you. Really? We're all down in the Flora B warehouse. Well, all of us but Luna and Quark. Why? We've still got 45 minutes until we the white doors open. I know that. Um, oh, okay. Hey, w wait a minute. I thought you, you, Kay and Quark didn't know what, uh, didn't know about the white doors. Tenmyoji told us about them. He said he'd show us where they were, so we all <coughs> followed him down to the Floor B warehouse. I'm okay. assuming you left Quark with Luna. Yeah. Anyway, when we showed up, Phi and Kay were already there. Well, all so? of a sudden, Phi, Tenmyoji, and Dio all started yelling at each other. Oh. Why? What? Did something happen? According to Clover, the last AB game had been the cause of their fight. Even though Tenmyoji only had one BP, Phi had chosen Betray. They started to fight and since Dio had pressed Betray on behalf of his team, eventually he got dragged in too. That seems odd. Phi only had one BP too. Her choice seems like a perfectly valid defensive move. Ugh. Just come with me. Kay's trying to calm them down, but there's only one of him. Just come with me. Oh. Okay, okay. Come on, Alice. Come Let's in. go. Come. Okay. Okay, Alice. Haben das Ende erreicht? No. Nee, Da, da kommt noch, da kommt noch ein bisschen was. Ich meine, wir haben... Wir haben das hier noch, das Zeug. Wir haben da noch was. Wir haben... Da hier noch ein ganzes, ganzes Stück. Äh, da hier fehlt uns noch das Passwort für den Computer. Also ID, entweder, entweder ID oder Passwort. Eins von den beiden. Ja. Also, zum großen Teil sind wir schon relativ weit, aber da kommt noch, kommt noch einiges. Und, und ich habe ich hab, ähm, gelesen, für das, für das True Ending braucht man alle anderen Enden. All four of them were still there when we arrived. They seemed to have calmed down a bit, but the tension in the air was almost visible. Felt like I'd stepped into a room full of flammable gas. Even the smallest spark could turn the whole place into a raging inferno. Even Kay, usually so calm and collected, was standing ramrod straight with his hand balled into a fist at his side. Let's win 9 and 9. War das bei 9 and 9 nicht auch so? Oder war das da anders? Kann ich mir jetzt gar nicht mehr erinnern, wie das da war. Looked at Alice, uh, pursed my lips and then headed over to the angry knot of people occupying most of the room. Most of the room, das ist ein riesen Warehouse Zeug. Clover told me what's going on. This whole thing is stupid. You need to knock it off. Stupid? What about this is stupid? Hmm, okay. We're talking about my life, you self-righteous dick. The arc. I know. But yelling at each other isn't going to solve your problem. The best thing for us to do right now is to trust each other and get through this. Wouldn't you agree? Hard to trust someone who tried to kill me. Same to you. I told you letting Dio vote was a stupid idea. What did you think he was gonna do? You might as well have pressed the button yourself. I couldn't just leave Quark alone. 
That's no excuse. And where do you get off telling me I shouldn't have picked Betray? Did you even think that through? What, I was supposed to pick Ally? If I'd done that, I'd be dead right now. I could say the same thing to you. Damn good thing Dio didn't choose Ally. Please, that's enough from both of you. Sigma's right. This isn't the time to be bickering with each other. Oh, you don't get to talk. You tried to betray Clover and escape on your own. Perhaps. But I think that's better than nearly killing someone. Well, well, I only did it so that she wouldn't kill Tenmyoji. <laughs> ah, God damn it! Enough already. I was immensely misguided. Uhr haben wir denn? 23. Ja, dann, ich denke mal, bis zum Ende können wir auf jeden Fall noch machen. Also wenn wir bis zum Ende kommen, können wir das, können wir das heute noch machen. Und... Ja. I wrote with fury and my voice echoed and rebounded off the walls of the warehouse. Everyone fell silent. I didn't know how long that silence would last, so I decided to put it all on the table. There was only one way I was going to be able to take control of the situation. Guys, listen to me. We really don't have time for this. I was met with a number of glares, but I soldiered on. See, the thing is, I figured out who planted the bombs. What? Is this what you were talking about earlier? Sort of, yeah. I know which one of you it is. Well, spit it out then. Please, explain what's going on here. I don't think I need to. They're going to admit their guilt in just a few minutes. What? You're going to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Or I guess I should say Dio's mouth. Oh! <laughs> what are you on? You think I set those bombs? Yes, I do. Hey, if you're gonna accuse me, you better have some pretty damn good evidence, pal. I'm not accusing you. I'm just stating a fact. Oh, yeah. Where the hell did you get that fact? Fun as it was, I knew taunting alone wouldn't be enough to make Dio confess. He just played dumb. He was good at it, and I'd get nothing. That meant I was going to have to trick him. Well, you see, I'm actually from Free the Soul. Free the Soul? What's that? Some kind of hippie shoe company? Don't play dumb, Dio. Or should I call you left? Brother ordered me to come here. To keep an eye on you. <laughs> it was quick, but for just a moment I saw his eyes twitch. I leapt on that moment of weakness like a hungry dog on a stick. Fine. Skepticism is understandable, admirable even, but perhaps this will convince you. Press forward, pulling out every fact I could remember. I told you about brother's background and how his younger brother left had been murdered. I mentioned casually that Myrmidons were all clones of a single person. So, still not convinced? How about this? Blah 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 blah. Do a little prime factor decomposition on that and you get blah 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 up to the third power. If I'm not who I say I am, how on earth could I possibly know that? What? No, that's not possible. Finally. So, let's start over, shall we? I was sent here to watch your every move. It seems your wise and noble brother doesn't trust you. He suspects betrayal. No! You're lying! Jumpy mit Ace abgezogen hat. Was hat ein Chunpei nochmal gemacht? Mein Gedächtnis ist scheiße. I assure you I'm not. But if you don't believe me, why don't you go outside and call him or yourself with your transmitter? No! No! You have to be lying! Brother trusts me! <gasps> That's why he chose me for this mission! Why would he make me the leader of the Myrmidons if he- <clears throat> Oh! Huh? Sorry, what was that? Said! Why would he have made me the leader of the Myrmidons if- Ha! Huh. I grinned. Wait... What the hell? I was about to sneak- Ah, so, yeah, stimmt. Stimmt. 
Are you fucking kidding me? Sorry, Dio. I've never even seen brother. What the hell was all that? How did you know all those things? Don't know. Maybe I was divinely inspired. Don't give me that shit! Uh, what's going on? What are these Myrmidons? <laughs> Dear nice stared at one another while Clover and Tenmuch quickly explained to Fi and Kay about the memory card and the number 2 bomb and about the code we'd found that was from a terror organization called the Myrmidons. So you mean to say someone from the Myrmidons planted the bombs? And Dio pretty much just admitted to doing it? <coughs> yeah. Bastards. I'll never forgive you. I heard a low, furious muttering behind me and turned to see Alice, her lips pulled back into a snarl. Snarl? Snarl? I am going to kill you! Ah! Her voice rose to a scream as she charged toward Dio. She ducked out of the way smooth- uh, he ducked out of the way smoothly and pulled something from his pocket. Whoa there. I like my women a little feisty. But you're taking it a little too far, sweetheart. Tone it down. What? You see this? You know what it is, don't you? Oh. Oh my god. Is that... Is that the detonator? Exactly. Oh. Then I assume you know what happens if I press this button? Yes. I think I do. I'm guessing it'll set off both of the bombs. Mm, well, I wouldn't say both. You mean there's still a number one bomb we haven't found? Oh, Correct. Well, there's uh, one more too. Number zero? No. There are four bombs? <gasps> exactly. I planted four bombs. They're the ones numbered one, two, and three, but there's also one more. Zero. Bomb number zero. Ah! Add all that up and you're looking at about four tons of explosive power. Those go off and it's all over. The inbuilders was false, what? That's enough oomph to turn this whole place into a smoking crater. Aren't you forgetting something? That'd kill you too. So? I'm ready for that. I've got spares. <laughs> Bears? Is that what Sigma was talking about? Hmm. Yeah, clones. And Alice whispers something to Clover. Let's go, Clover. Show him all that training wasn't for nothing. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Before I had a chance to ask them what was going on, they moved. Die, you bastard! Oh yeah. yeah! Ooh. She roared and leapt toward Dio, Clover following just behind. As threw a punch at Dio's face and as he dodged, Clover spun out from behind her. Ooh, yeah. Dio grunted and turned to focus on Alice, but Clover darted in and snatched the detonator from his hand. Ooh. Clover, get him! Right! Sigma, catch! Huh? Before I could respond, Clover had thrown a detonator at me. I scrambled to grab it out of the air and held it to my chest. Damn it! Stop! Let me go! Still let go of me, you asshole! Clank didn't do him any good, and Dio found himself subdued by the skillful teamwork of Alice and Clover. Ooh. Strangely though, once they had a hold of him, he stopped struggling. I was reminded of a gazelle with its neck in the mouth of a lion. Had he surrendered? 
Or did he have some trick up his sleeve? It didn't feel right. I didn't have to wait long for my mis misgivings to prove true. But the nail in my hand suddenly began to flash. What? Ha! Serves you right. <laughs> What are you laughing at? You! Her! All of you! God, you're stupid! What? Why? Stupid. See that detonator you threw to Sigma? You activated it. If it gets more than a meter away from me, it sets itself off. I figured someone might try to take it away, so we put in a little safeguard. Since you two were kind enough to take it away from me. The bombs have gone from remote control to countdown timer. Go ahead and destroy uh -oh. the detonator if you want. Won't make any difference now. The bombs are gonna go off no matter what. Mm. How long do we have? <laughs> About 30 minutes. <gasps> 30 minutes. Oh no. My condolences. What can we do to stop them? I told you that already. First, we need the device that allows us to input information. Ah, ich hab, ich hab Video, das ich euch, euch zeigen muss. Später. Vor der Pause. Then we plug it into each bomb and enter the codes. Hey Alice, who the hell are you? How do you know all this? None of your damn business. Just tell me where the input device is. <laughs> well, that's none of your damn business. <lacht> Stop! You're gonna break it! Of course. That's the plan. Please, stop! Just tell me what I want to know. Ach, du gebrochener Arm. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. It's in my coat. The right-hand pocket. Clover, check it out. Right. Check it out. Yeah. Sean then started digging through his pockets. After a few minutes. Ernsthaft, die braucht Minuten dafür? It's no use. There's nothing here. Did you lie to me? No. I, I swear. Keep looking. Oh, wait. There is something in here. Mm. Carl pulled her hand from his pocket and held it out. What? Isn't that a pill? Like for medicine? Hey, what is this? Huh? I can't see it. Bring it over here. Alter, Clover, Erz, bitte nicht. Clover frowned and moved closer to Dio, holding the pill out toward him. Ernsthaft? Suddenly he moved his right hand, snacking out to grab the pill from Clover's hand. Fine, we can react, he shoved it into his mouth. Ernsthaft, Clover? I heard a tiny crack as he bit down on it. Almost immediately he grimaced in pain. Shit! What? What was that? Poison, I guess. What? Damn! How could I be so stupid? Du? Nein, Clover! Clover, dumm! His eyes, eyes rolled up into his head and flecks of spittle began to trickle out from the corners of his mouth. I grabbed him by the hair and shook. What the hell are you doing? Where's the input device? <laughs> Lost it. In my couch. Back home. Don't screw with me. Fine. Don't tell us. How about you give us the deactivation codes instead? Deactivation? <laughs> you guys are persistent. Fine. Not gonna do you. Müsste nicht schon längst tot sein. Anyway, I'll tell you. Ernsthaft, Dio. But you only get one. This is the deactivation code for bomb three. Ready? L X Q L H C N M. Are. What about the other three? Tell us to the other three! But they didn't even seem to hear me. My body will 
be a part of the foundation of a bright future. His voice was weak and more foam was scribbling out of his mouth. Such a beautiful world. May brother live in everlasting glory. Hmm. <laughs> Those were the last words Dio spoke. He died with a strange happy smile. Tall. Damn. gave us the password for one of the bombs. This is bad. What are we gonna do? I don't know. How much time have we got? 25 minutes. Are you sure? Yes. When he told us the time, I checked my bracelet. It said exactly 30 minutes. You mean huh. the bombs are gonna go off the same time the next set of doors opens? Yes. The time on your bracelet is the time we have left. Is a... Praktisch? Oh, so 25 minutes. This isn't good. I was hoping that we might be able to escape through the white doors, but it takes five minutes for the primary door to open and close. So, yes, I know. There's no way we can get through them before the explosion happens. Als ob euch die kackweißen Türen retten würden. Ernsthaft? Well, there's no point just standing around. We should start looking. We need three things. The password input device. And the remaining two bombs, right? right? We also need passwords for all the bombs other than number three. Also brauchen wir sechs Dinge. Exactly. Maybe Dio has a note or something. Hold on. Let me check. Schnell down and quickly checked his pockets and sleeves, and then sat back on her heels, frustrated. Damn. He's clean. Look pale. Then we'll just have to hope we find it somewhere. Tenmyoji, can you go tell Luna what's happened? Right. I'm on it. Good. The rest of you, let's move out. We can do this. Let's go. We all took off at a run, heading to different parts of the building. But all of our searching turned up nothing. And as we searched, the clock kept ticking. Ich glaube, das wird hier hier gar kein to be continued sein. Ich glaube, das ist einfach nur nur ein Ende für Dings für für ein Passwort. Gleich geht's los. Then at last the chromatic doors opened. Ich müsste jetzt nicht im gleichen Augenblick eigentlich die Bomben losgehen. Chromatic five minutes. A time had run out. We watched the white doors open. Were they doors to heaven or to hell? The thought barely had time to flutter through my mind. Before everything went white. We didn't even have time to say goodbye. A thousand emotions flooded my brain in those last moments. Why? How? How had we ended up this way? Then a blistering wave of heat, like the surface of the sun itself, wiped out any lingering thoughts. Oui. Consciousness slipped away into a bottomless pool of darkness. Neither heaven nor hell, only the void. <coughs> Bomben sind explodiert und ja. Alles Ende. Okay. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Knapp, knapp die Hälfte von den Enden zumindest haben wir. Gut, alles Ende. Ah, jetzt, jetzt ist das offen. Planet the Bomb. Ja, ah, okay.
Okay, jetzt, jetzt können wir da hier weitermachen. Ah, da hier ist auch offen. Nummer 9. Planet the Bomb, Lock Nummer 7. Oh, Planet the Bomb, Lock Nummer 9. Okay. Ähm, dann... Würde ich sagen, morgen... Morgen machen wir dann da hier weiter. Da hier. Ich nehme an, das ist auch nochmal ein Ende. Was für Enten fehlen jetzt eigentlich noch? Wir haben, wir haben schon Kay, wir haben Dio, wir haben Clover und wir haben Alice. Es fehlt Phi, Sigma, falls der ein eigenes Ende hat, Quark, Tenmyochi und Luna. Die fehlen noch. Hm, okay. Ja gut, also, äh, Moment. Geh ich schon mal da hier hin. Safe. Okay. Hier sind die Leute auf dem Mond. Wo die Leute genau sind, das äh, wissen wir noch nicht. Das ist im Moment noch geheim. Beziehungsweise, was heißt geheim, noch nicht. Wird noch nicht gesagt. Ich weiß es zwar schon, weil ich mich gespoilert habe. Aber im Stream, im Spiel, kam es bisher noch nicht. Kam es bisher noch nicht dazu. <lacht> Na, was ist Traumanzüge? Anzüge, die angeblich vor davor schützen sollen, dass die sich nicht mit äh, Radical Six infizieren und so. Die sehen aber aus wie Ra Raumanzüge, also. Könnte alles Mögliche sein.